Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that tickets are numbered from 1 to 75. One ticket is drawn. Find the probability that number of ticket is either divisible by 3 or 5. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, if A and B are two events such that they are not mutually exclusive, then probability P of event A or B is equal to probability of event A plus probability of event B minus probability of event A intersection B. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now we are given that tickets are numbered from 1 to 75 and one ticket is drawn from the given tickets. We have to find the probability that the number of the ticket drawn is either divisible by 3 all by 5. First of all, let us write sample space for this question. Now sample space will consist of numbers of the tickets from 1 to 75. That is, sample space S is equal to search containing elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on up to 75. So here you can see that sample space S consists of all the numbers of the tickets from 1 to 75. So sample space is a set containing all these elements which are 75 in number. So Total number of outcomes is equal to 75. Now let us define the events. Event A is equal to number divisible by 3 and event B is equal to number divisible by 5. Now, let us write elements of event A and these elements will be the numbers from this sample space that are divisible by 3 so, event A is a set containing elements 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54, 57, 60, 63, 66, 69, 72 and 75. Here you can see that all these numbers are divisible by 3. So, number of favorable outcomes For event A is equal to now when we count these elements they are 25 in number so number of favorable outcomes for event A is 25 now here total number of outcomes is equal to 75 and Number of favorable outcomes for event A is 25. 
सो प्रोबेबिलिटी बी ऑफ इवेंट ए इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल आउटकम्स फॉर इवेंट ए दैट इज 25 फाइव अपॉन टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स दैट इज 75. फाइव नाउ ट्वेंटी फाइव इन टू थ्री इज सेवेंटी फाइव सो दिस इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन थ्री सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ इवेंट ए इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन थ्री नाउ लेट इज फाइंड एलिमेंट्स ऑफ इवेंट बी फॉर दिस वेल फाइंड द नंबर्स फ्रॉम दिस सर्कल स्पेस दैट आर डिविजिबल बाय फाइव सो इवेंट बी इज अ सेट कंटेनिंग एलिमेंट्स फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी फिफ्टी फाइव सिक्सटी सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी एंड सेवेंटी फाइव नाउ हियर यू कैन सी ऑल दीज नंबर्स आर डिविजिबल बाय फाइव नाउ लेट एस राइट नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल आउटकम्स फॉर इवेंट बी नाउ वेन वी काउंट द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ सेट बी दे आर फिफ्टीन इन नंबर सो नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल आउटकम्स फॉर इवेंट बी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन so probability of event b is equal to number of favorable outcomes for event b that is 15 upon total number of outcomes that is 75 now 15 into 5 is 75 so this is equal to 1 upon 5 now this is the event a This is the event B. Now, A and B have some common elements, so they are not mutually exclusive events. Now we have event A intersection B, which is a set containing the common elements to event A and event B. So this is a set containing elements 15. 30, 45, 60, and 75. So, number of favorable outcomes for event A intersection B is equal to 5. Now let us find probability B of event A intersection B, which is equal to number of favorable outcomes for event A intersection B. That is five upon total number of outcomes. That is seventy-five. Now five into fifteen is seventy-five. So this is equal to one upon fifteen. Now we have to find probability B. of event a or b for this we will use this result which is given to us in the key idea as a and b are not mutually exclusive events so probability p of event a or b is equal to probability of event a plus probability of event b minus probability of event A intersection B. Now this is probability of event A, and this is probability of event B, and this is probability of event A intersection B. Now putting all these values here, this is equal to one upon three plus. One upon five minus one upon fifteen. Now least common multiple of three, five, and fifteen is fifteen. So in the denominator we have fifteen. 
Now we know 3 into 5 is 15 and 5 into 1 is 5 plus 5 into 3 is 15 and 3 into 1 is 3 minus 15 into 1 is 15 and 1 into 1 is 1. So this is equal to 8 minus 1 whole upon 15 which is equal to 7 upon 15. So probability P of event A or B is equal to 7 upon 15. So this is the required answer. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.